And we'll be first picked once more. Options, not even opportunities, options. Talked a lot about the fact that he's been doing a lot. Get what we have seen kind of highlight outside of maybe Merlin. Better Strife is one of my favorite abilities in the game for a little bit and, and do their best to not seeing anybody else pick it up. So I would prioritize against other teams. Tabakasura. But as well, let's put Johnny down. Considerably oh, HP, jump in, stun, finds two, a pull back is good. One more shot to and Joey needs it, but a good oh. body block by Priv keeps him. Anyway, he doesn't care that he falls down low, maybe cares that he loses an ult, but Johnny low already. Gonna be forced to use his ultimate, yes he has to. Great play by Jengaru. So far has the tier, Julio making sure to get that blessed prey of regrowth, and oh, whoa, now starting whoa, up whoa. a gold fury. Power that Merlin is, you got a lot of shred on these early objectives. Can Priv steal this one away? No, he's just too late. Hex Mambo. On the board with the first Fury. Just a slight bit off cooldown. I didn't expect the damage. Could be seeing a brawl, though, as three of the Athenian Sages have rotated over. Mid laner on the way. Snatty up in the sky. Julio being chased out. Used the ult to get away, but he's going to get pulled right back in by the Pow Lao. Jangaru strikes first blood for the Athenian Sage. And now Johnny is starting to pick it a fight. And he's winning this fight. Goes in with the ultimate. Gets a lot of damage on Jangaru and the Snatty. Jangaru walks back. And it's a one-for-one -one oh, oh. trade, but now Nehu rolling as fast as he can, but it's Hawk doing all the damage. The Golden Apple's not enough damage. It's two for Mambo. Primitive, one more thing should do it, and he picks it up with the ultimate, but Primitive on low himself. The Sunder comes out, but Snaddy's still around the corner. Had about a level up over his opposition, now sitting even, if not maybe even just slightly behind. His opponent threw, actually uses the ultimate okay. to steal away blue. Well, he able to fearless out. Jengar are going to go through, but Johnny is now shown back up. It's a two for two tr battle once more. Pull in on top of Julio, but not a lot of damage thrown back his way. Johnny's got ult, but not willing to use it. Instead, it's a brawl on the left side of the map. Double ultimates from the Sages to keep things going. It's action on all fronts. Now, a dive in by Johnny. One more swipe. Not enough. Jengar able to get away just in time. No blood shed on the right side of the map. But darn near close as the Athenian Sage is supposed to force oh, down Johnny! He blinks through the tower, picks up the kill, and now Snatty is stuck between a rock oh, and a hard place. No, what have you Johnny done? and Julio, a push through the tower, a couple more swipes, and it's a double for Johnny. He throws the hammer, consigned in defeat, knows what's opposition solo laner. So what do you do instead? You kill an objective. You kill the Primal Fury, or at least force the fights around it. Up around though, Renjaro Primitive, they're on the way. Primal Fury low, Hex Mambo getting the apple just off the mark. A lot of damage thrown out Let's by run. Nehu, but... Two boys head out in the jungle. The closest is Snaddy onto Julio. Oh no, Johnny doesn't get hit by the stun on Snaddy. That will get the Thor up to the sky. Forces Snaddy out of this team fight. Now sets up for Hex Mambo around the Pyromancer. Athenian Sages have been on the defensive for almost this entire game. I mean, from minute one, Renjaro forced out of his beads in dual lane, lose that pressure there. Now Julio sneaking around the backside, trying to get the bubble away from Primitive, will do so. And is trying to zone three players out. So that way Hex Mambo can just laxadaisically take this pyro, but Snatty showing up, we'll keep Hex Mambo away. Yeah, that's, he gains some attack speed. Who doesn't love attack speed as Bakasaur? Well, why not just attack speed? Let's throw a Pyromancer in there as well. Stolen. Does get stolen away by just Nehu's damage alone. It'll be Pyro for the Chaos side on the Bakasura, they surpassing that level a minute. No, they, they can't fight him. Even with all three of them there, level 13, 13, 14, Jody gets a triple kill. They, they, he will just triple kill them. Jengaru goes in, tries to fight Hawk. Will be able to get the Aegis and the Beads away from the Merlin. A quick retreat out, but Spudio oh, goes no. in on top of the horse. Immediately striked out. Kazakh tries Johnny. to get the pull. Does get the bubble from Priv. And heal goes through. Johnny wants to keep this fight going, but may just pull back. Still a minute till Fury's back up. Yeah, they're going to try and jostle for position for that. Maybe a jostle for position for the Stygian to Beacon. Beads are forced there, and he has to dash away yet again. Blue stone, blue stone, not quite enough. He has Minions. to hit the Minions. buff. The buff is chasing Jankaru <laughs> all the way to the Phoenix. He's able to get away just by the help of the movement speed, but Prudent wishes that he had that level of speed to get away. Hex, my desolate wasteland in the win column for NA, and it's so far looking pretty desolate for objectives as well. Athenian Sages, they're going to try and steal this one away, but... The Golden Apple a little bit too early, and Hex Mambo back away from it so they can pick up a Fury for themselves. Yeah, and Hex Mambo, they want to continue this just to set up that qualification matchup against fellow EU team Niflheim Wargs. Don't forget, streak. But maybe there could be a team to try and stop that here at Masters. Snatty, he got four chasing the out. One of them is Julio. Kozik's even so far back to try and hold this through. Nowhere to go. Can't get to the sky in time. 
And 07's in the chat as Hex Mambo gets up their sixth kill. And goodbye, my friends. Natty, not cleared for takeoff there, but demolition jobs have been taking place in the mid and left hand side of the map. Primitive, Nehu, Changaru, and Renjaru all over on the left hand side. And you know what that means? Four over on left, zero over on right. Fire Giant looks to be as free as can be. Such a easy target here for Hex Mambo. Johnny's keeping the entirety of the Sage busy. Johnny's staring him down. He's laughing at him. He doesn't care Primitive. what the Sages do. He could probably take all four if he wants to. Under tower goes Jangaru. Johnny used the ultimate. He wants the fight. He might just go down, jumps away, gets the beads as well, and pull off the mark. Johnny has been able to sustain the fight against the Sages and might even just go back for another because look at the rest of the team. The cavalry is arriving. Hex Mambo have arrived on the scene as Johnny takes down one, defends against four. Rancharu oh. barely makes it back to pace, but now it's Jangaru on the run. Spuddy's going to chase him out. Finds the slow through, dashes in as well. Jangaru teleports over the buff, but Julio. look who's awaiting him. It's Julio on the tier. A lawbringer over the wall to chase out. Jangaru only saved by Snatty and squad. He was so close to getting his blink off. It's about two seconds away from cooldown before that wall hits. If that was on cooldown, blink, dead Jangaru. That said a three versus five on this defense, but instead it's a naught versus five as just retreating and giving his objective up. No, it's, it's Julio versus the Sages, keeping two of them back while tier two tower falls down. No Runic Bombs in pocket for Mambo, so it's going to take all of their extra effort. Ultimate by Kha'Zix, pulls back Rancharu, but it's Kha'Zix out of oh position, forced to go no. away. Spudio takes down Rancharu, dunk it by Snatty to the back line, and he will take out one, but he can barely get back to the port as Johnny knocks him down. It's now two up for Hex Mambo, and Johnny continuing his search back, but the Phoenix is targeting him out. He's oh. able to take it down before it drops him as Hawk charges forward. Mayu's gone, Primitive gone. It is four down for the Sages. But Hex Mambo, are they healthy enough for the Titan? The answer to that seems to be no. Too many towers up for them to really be looking at this Titan at this point, but they could do so if they take out this mid lane Phoenix as well. Hex Mambo continue their relentless charge in this game, 11 to 3, and it's over 10,000 gold deficit in the Athenian Sages staring down. And it's only going to get wider as Jengaru has to just watch in despair as his mid lane Phoenix falls down. There's nothing Shangar can do to stop this one with four staring him down. Hex Mambo have now wiped him out. Take those towers, at least tier one, swiftly. And with Oni minions charging in alongside oh. them, Oni fire minions in mid, and Goodbye. Johnny in the jungle. No one can stand up to this Bakasura. Just see, finds Ney who takes him down in, what, five basic attacks with, the, uh, with those claws activated? Uh, you can't survive that. There is no surviving Johnny fighting with the jungle at this point, no matter who you are. Four versus three at the Phoenixes. Snatty can't defend. Right side, Phoenix goes down. Who cares about oh. fighting even for a fire Titan's giant? Moving. up for at least a couple of minutes. Oh, hey, the Titan has shown up. Only to be stopped at his own base. Johnny jukes out two of the chains. Third one's not enough. Jangaro tries to get away. Has the beads from Hulu. He's putting out so much damage. Lawbringer in. Finds the stun. And it's a dive in by Johnny to find the basic seven in a row for the Bakasura. Hex Mambo are unstoppable in this matchup. North America cannot stand up to the might of Johnny, to the might of Hex Mambo. Hawk finds another, Johnny's gonna make it a double, and no one can stop this EU team. They will go undefeated here in day number one. The Titan down to a quarter, but the Athenian Sages with a goose egg in the win column. It's all Hex Mambo. It is 6-0 for EU versus North America here on day number one. And who could be happier than all our European teams? They set themselves up for a juicy matchup versus the Devil Iron Wargs in day number two to decide who qualifies for the main bracket. And the worst part for North America is one of them is dropping down to the lower bracket to face off against them again. Yeah, we are still going to see some EU talent, at least on the lower end of the bracket there, having to fight their way through. But based on the performance that we've seen so far out of EU, we could be seeing some more EU versus EU matchup as the weekend goes on. This